guys welcome back to random lifestyle vlog uh here's another the clutter video and it might seem quite random but to be honest these cream products i have no idea what they are to be honest most of them i i don't use most of them i feel like maybe i'm missing on some products that are actually good here uh so i definitely want to declutter some of these things here and kind of focus on the products that kind of make sense you know so i can definitely see like straight away that there are products i will never use in my life like for example this here this is cover fx custom enhancer drops uh but look at the shade of it this is like a kind of like a blue purpley kind of shade and unless you are like a makeup artist and i don't know you just need it for a specific editorial look i just don't really see myself using that color look at that i mean i have warm undertones in my skin so even if i wanted to do something more editorial uh, i don't think this will look good on me so yeah this is definitely going so the first thing the clutter there you go that was fast <laughs> uh okay what else uh this far sally uh unicorn essence and then i have one more of these uh, this is liquid glass. They're both kind of like cool toned and uh, they kind of, I don't really like how they smell. Because you know, I really like these products to be either uh, without any scent or uh, I don't know, or just fragrance nicely. I feel like these kind of smell like cooking oil, which is not really my favorite and I'm not going to be using them. So yeah, the clutter. Uh, so maybe let's go with something that I'm going to keep. Uh, so this is... Uh, Charlotte Tilbury, one of her kind of like sets. I'm not really sure uh, what was the name of it, but we have uh, this eye product here. Obviously, I'm going to keep it. Um, this is a really nice kind of like um, uh, eyeshadow in a stick. Then we have this Easy Lip and Chic thing. This one is in shade Sun Kissed. So there you go. So that's like a very wearable shade and then we have a highlighter one here uh, again really pretty so obviously this one is staying with me i also really like this packaging although i think i just broke it a little bit so yeah it is what it is anyway this is staying i'm also going to keep this uh product here this is hollywood beauty light wand easy highlighter by charlotte tilbury uh in shade spotlight i uh have been using this uh recently as well and as much as i'm not a massive fan of uh these kind of charlotte tilbury um liquid products the highlighter is okay the blushes i know people of them but for me they just don't really work that well so you have this kind of like a puff thing here you just squeeze a little bit um as you can see it's like i haven't used this one yet but i'm going to keep it I, the, the color is actually really pretty kind of champagne -y, um gold so i'm going to keep that one uh and yeah that's that uh i'm going to keep this one as well this is the nissa myricks palette and this is dewy chick and lip palette and i am i uh, using my like, cream uh blushes a little bit more frequently recently uh i kind of tested them out a little bit more i think i'm just like working on my uh, makeup skills as well uh, i've been working on my makeup skills recently so i kind of kind of convinced me to use them a little bit more so this is actually perfect for uh, cheeks i don't really like these kind of shades on my lips though i don't know it's just something maybe the formula is just not uh, what i would want it to be i do prefer like a normal lipstick or liquid like liquid lipstick but not something like that but this is perfect for my uh, cheeks so i'm going to keep that one okay what else do we have here this this is rose gold hydro glow hydro glow cream and uh i don't think i want this i don't think i will be using it i don't think i've ever used it but does it even have like a color to it or yeah it has this kind of rosy shade uh as i mentioned before i have warm undertones uh on my skin so i don't think this is going to look nice so i'm i'm getting rid of that one uh what next uh, this iconic london this is dewy glow highlight um and this is a little bit i mean i kind of wanted to like it because we have those three colors over here and then we have this very kind of yellow highlighter which is i mean could be okay right i mean it could work on my skin uh, but then we have this kind of very kind of shimmery blush which i'm not really sure how i feel about it it's very shimmery so obviously it's going to give you this kind of like a summery skin vibe but i'm not really sure about it and then we have this kind of orangey brown again um i don't know 
I don't think I'll be using it to be honest. Um, I do have. I'm going to show you the Fenty sticks in a moment, and the, for like uh, the kind of kind of like a uh, summery skin, I think I do prefer those sticks. These are quite. Um, like uh i don't know i don't think they last like that nicely as well so yeah i'm going to declutter this palette as well like clutter pile and uh this is what i like to show you these three fenty sticks and i think these are much better for this kind of uh, kind of sun sunny appearance so these are match sticks uh and uh, they are all uh, summer skin sticks so this is beach bum and this actually lasts much better. Uh, it has much has, has much more pigmentation and uh, it actually works really nicely um, on holiday. This is Champagne Heist. So there's that. So as you can see, this one is more like a blush color for me. This is more like a highlighter, especially when my skin is a bit tanned. And this is Trippin. And uh, let's have a look at that one. Yeah, so this is actually really pretty too. So this is like somewhere in the middle between like a... Um, blush and a highlighter for me but it actually looks really nice um on the tan skin so i'm going to keep these three uh and that makes perfect sense uh this one here this is model co highlighting shimmer something whip in shade champagne and i bought it like i don't know how many years ago and i never used it and i don't think i ever will so i'm decluttering it uh, so there you go. This is actually quite cool. This is clay essence moonlighter cushion pearlescent highlight finish and as you can see you have this kind of like a sponge here and this is literally the color uh, it's like a champagne gold and you have this kind of like a um, like a cushion thing and you just dab it here and apply it on your cheeks so that is actually quite cool I'm going to keep it. I don't think there's much in there left but I'm going to keep it uh what else okay this is actually really cool this is wonder beauty blush as you can see the shade is actually really pretty so obviously i'm keeping it this is lip and cheek again so you could just use it on your lips but i do prefer this on my uh, on my cheeks and then uh, you have the second part which is like a kind of like a, um clear product and this I personally would apply on my lips if anywhere. Uh, this is something that's quite popular recently. Like people like kind of this glossy look on your skin, but this is something that's more editorial and it's going to look nice on the pictures, but not necessarily, not necessarily uh, as a kind of like a all day makeup, because obviously this is quite greasy and it's going to melt your foundation and it's going to like, uh, it's it just not going to look nice. So I personally would only use this uh, if I was doing like a photo shoot, but other than that, mm, I think it's just going to go on my lips. I don't, I have no idea why this is so popular recently. And I actually have two more of these kind of like cheek uh, glossy things. Uh, one of them is from the Dinesa Myricks and let me just have, yeah, Duet. So there you go. Uh, it actually looks like it's empty, but yeah, there's a little bit of that. Uh, the glossy thing and then we have the uh, one from tower 28 no super due no shade um and definitely i definitely don't need uh all of those uh so this one is staying because of the blush because i really like the blush so i'm keeping that one i'm going to keep the one from Dinesa marix just because it's like a properly clear and i don't know i mean i might need it at some point in my life uh it seems a little bit more sticky so i think it would just last a little bit better as well so i'm going to keep that one and i'm getting rid of the tower one okay next up we have two face this is jelly highlighter and i really like that but i think it used to be more jelly, you know, now it's more like solid. So I think it's time to say goodbye. Uh, I really like the color though. It was, was like a really beautiful champagne shade. But yeah, I think it's it's just time. It's just time. Uh, okay, what else? Um, Laura Geller, uh, Easy Illuminating Stick. And uh, I am not a massive fan of this brand. Uh, but I did have one of those before and I actually liked it. But this one. I don't think this is my shade, you know. I think this is, again, yeah, this is like a very kind of pinky, cool-toned one. So, yeah, I'm not going to be able to use it. Uh, so this is Diamond Dust in sh uh, shade. If you're interested, I'm going to get rid of that. What is this? Tinted Life. And this is Hue Glow Dawn. I think Dawn is the shade. Apply to face and body for everyday moisture and glow. Wear alone or over makeup. Well, I, I'd never actually wear those things like over makeup. Uh, and this is, oh, I just used a little bit too much probably. But let's see. 
the shade is actually really pretty it's like a rose gold shade but it is quite greasy it's quite oily so yeah i would never use this all over my makeup because again it's too oily uh and on my body maybe but it also seems a little bit like too shiny it's very oily no i'm not going to be using that so i'm going to declutter it next up we have some bobby brown and this is a very pretty actually this is like a really nice cheek color is this yeah this is lips and cheeks again but uh this is like a really nice um cream blush shade so i'm going to keep that one uh then we have uh some rowan row glow and this one is in shade glazed and okay it's very white a little bit cool toned but not with no it's actually really pretty it's like a silvery gold like a very cool toned gold shade i like it and i'm going to keep that one i like i i mean i'm really glad that i like the shade because i kind of wanted to keep it anyway so yeah that's the one is staying with me then we have a uh, two westman atelier uh highlighters uh, so this one is in shade lit up highlight stick then we have two westman atelier uh highlighters uh these are lit up highlight sticks and this one is in shade brulee uh so oh okay that's darker than i expected it's probably going to be more of a blush shade yeah it is actually quite pretty but it's going to be more of a cream blush rather than anything else uh, I really like the packaging. It's actually really nice and fancy. But this one is actually staying. And then we have the... Uh, what shade is this? Oh, okay, this one is in shade Lit. So, well, much lighter. So this is going to be more of a highlighter for sure. And yeah, this one is probably not uh, the best one for me. But because it's a uh, Westman Atelier, I'm going to... I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it and see if I like it or if I can just, you know, make it work for me somehow. I'm going to, I'm going to keep it for now and we'll see. Okay, uh, what is this? This is About Face Light Lock Stick in shade Frenzy. Oh, that one is actually pretty. Uh, let me just switch it on this hand maybe. It's very uh, kind of sparkly. It's very sparkly, so it's not going to be my everyday highlighter. But, you know, for certain looks, it can actually look uh, quite nice. Uh, interesting. It's a very interesting highlighter. They're very rarely, like, so grainy almost. But uh, I feel like this could actually work nicely with some looks. So I'm keeping that one. Okay, let's find something to uh, the clutter now. Uh, where do we go? Okay. These are Jekka Black Glow Drops, um, highlighting primer for face. I have two of those and I really like the champagne one, but I'm not really sure about this rose pearl. I think it's just something that I don't really use that much. So I'm going to keep the, the champagne one and I'm going to declutter the rose pearl. Okay, next up we have KVD and this is Metal Crush uh, highlighter, I suppose, in shade rose shock and i can already tell this is not my thing this is very pink very cool toned and this is not something i will be using for sure so this one is going do you know what i'm actually doing quite well uh from what i can tell i it seems like like 50 is like 50 50 like half of the products are on the clutter pile the other half are on the stay pile so that's actually quite good okay what else do we have here um we have two of those rose ink uh, blushes and i actually really like them i didn't before because i didn't really use um, cream blushes but this one is actually beautiful uh, this one is a little bit darker this one is in shade heliotrope and this one is in shade azalea and azalea is much darker but as i said I really appreciate cream blushes recently, so I'm going to keep them uh, both. Uh, okay. Uh, Orgasm uh, by NARS. And this one is, this is like a stick blush, but I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I mean, it looks nice, but I think I prefer how the normal blush looks um, rather than this one. Uh, I don't know. Will it be the only product in my maybe pile now? Hmm. Yeah, let's put this on my maybe pile. The only product there uh, so far. Okay. Uh, Iconic London Illuminator. This one is an original shade. 
I kind of like the look of it, but I don't think maybe I used it like once. I think the reason for that is that I have like too many kind of like um, liquidy products, so I don't really I don't really use most of them. That one's pretty though. I'm going to keep it. Okay, so this is staying. I really like how it looks. Um, what is this? This is sculpted liquid light in golden glow, and this is no gilded glow. Uh, I've never tried it before, so I have no idea, you know? That seems nice, but um, just a no. Okay, so I'm going to put this on a maybe pile, because we don't really have that many products there, so this is going to be our second, and obviously I'm going to be doing this kind of follow-up video in maybe March. I'm going to tell you what I kept and uh, what, I'm, or what I'll be decluttering from those things, so yeah, we'll see. Uh, okay, so now we have Revolution Super Dewy Liquid Blush. Uh, you got me blushing, I think that's the shade. And that one actually seems quite dark. And I do already have a couple of those like really dark. Um, oh, that's actually quite pretty, but I'm not sure <laughs> if it's going to be wearable for me. Because look at how pigment pigmented this is. Uh, I'm not really sure about that. Okay, maybe pile. I don't. I haven't tested it yet, but it does. It definitely feels a little bit too dark for me. Uh, so yeah, maybe pile. Very similar thing with this one, Daniel Sandler watercolor lip cheek. Uh, liquid cheek. I mean, it doesn't say lip here, but okay. Um, that one actually looks quite interesting to me. I mean, I really like the fact that this is like a watercolor thing. You just kind of have to shake it to mix the two layers. I think. Uh, it does look interesting. I think the shade is so pretty. Uh, and um, yeah, shake vigorously before use. Squeeze a tiny dot of color into a water brush or fingertip and blend onto cheeks. Huh, yeah, that one definitely looks interesting. I haven't tried it yet, so I feel like this is something, I'm not really sure how I feel about it, so I'm going to put this on my maybe pile. Uh, yeah. And that's probably the best idea. So um, here we have five Fix and Rouge. This is Wonder Love Charm. So this is more like a primer or like, you know, you can mix this with your makeup or with your foundation or you can just apply it on your skin uh, pre-makeup. And that one is actually really pretty because uh, this is a more like a rose gold shade. But if you compare this to uh, the Jekka Black Glow Drops, this is more subtle. And I do prefer this much more. So I'm going to keep that one. Okay, so uh, here we have Urban Decay Drop Shot Mix in Facial Oil. Never tried that so far, so I'm not really sure how this is going to work. Uh, I always like, I don't know, I always find like reasons not to use it, or I just like put it in a place I can't see it. So uh, yeah, I think maybe Pile is where it belongs, because this is something that I would definitely just need to try at least once uh, to be able to tell you something more about it. So yeah. A uh, very similar situation with this MUA mm, Pro Base uh, Primer Oil. Look how pretty this looks. That's like a golden kind of like things inside. Yeah, with golden flakes. So that looks really pretty. I definitely want to give it a go. So this is also going in my maybe pile. Yeah, my maybe pile actually looks a little bit uh, better now because there are like some products there. Okay, this is Revlon Color Stay Endless Glow Liquid Highlighter. The shade is really pretty, but... I'm not really sh sure. I think, you know, I've had it for a while and doesn't really look like it's very fresh, is it? Okay, so I'm decluttering it. Uh, okay, that was easy. Uh, then we have uh, the Beauty Crop Glow Milk, nourished with coconut oil, illuminating milk for face and body. Mm -hmm, okay. Uh, that is quite interesting. Does it have a shade? Blind Date. Yeah, the shade is Blind Date. I just don't really have much space to apply these things anymore. Okay. Um, yeah, that's actually really pretty. That is pretty. So, yeah, I'm going to keep that one. I feel like now that I uh, have reduced some of the products here, I'll be able to use the products I'll keep a little bit more. So, yeah. Uh, okay, next up we have Rodial Blush Drops, um, liquid blush in shade Sunset Kissed. I never tried it, so I kind of want to keep it, but at the same time, I don't know if I'll be using it or not. So this is going in my maybe pile as well. And then we have the Lila. This is a highlighter in shade Lunar. Let's have a look. <clears throat> Here. Okay, very nice bronzy shade. Yeah, I think I'll keep that one. I think I'll keep that one. And three last products. 
So I can tell you straight away that this is going on my baby pile. This is P. Louise, a flirty flush of color, liquid blush. Uh, the cheek of it, uh, the shade is Raspberry Ribbon, and this is quite a bright shade. I do like the fact that we have the sponge. I literally just swatched it uh, when I first got it, but I never used it, and I'm not sure uh, if this is my shade, to be honest. So this is going in my maybe pile like straight away, and I mean, I really like the formula. It's like quite creamy. It blends nicely, but I'm not really sure if the color is right for me. So this is maybe pile, and two last products, guys. I should be able to declare one of them, but I'm not I don't know. So this is Laura Mercier, Sun Kissed Veil, Riviera Sun. And to be honest, guys, I just don't know whether I want to keep it or not. Uh, I kind of like wanted to use it over like last summer, but I never did. I just don't know. It does, doesn't really seem to have much pigmentation, so it should just give you like a, this nice glow, but I don't, I don't really know. It's like too light to just apply on my cheeks uh, i could just maybe apply this all over my face with the sort of pigmentation that we have here but then i'll be just like all glowy like a bulb so i don't i'm not really sure if that's a, that's the look i want to go for um i'm going to put this on my maybe pile but i will probably declutter that in the end and then the last uh, item is nude sticks this is nudies glow all over face highlight in shade bubbly b I like the look of it. Uh, so as you can see, never used before, uh, but uh, let me just find some space here. Ah, uh, not much, okay, here. So yeah, the shade is actually quite pretty. Uh, what I like about it is that we have this kind of like a brush here. So you can uh, literally just use it to, you know, kind of blend it. So I like that idea. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, uh, as I mentioned before, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to do that now. And I'm going to put this on my keep pile because it looks quite pretty. Okay guys, so these are the items I'm getting rid of. Uh, there are 15 items altogether. There are also nine items on my maybe pile. So I'm going to, you know, just test them out properly and let you know uh, whether they're staying or not. But these are the items that are actually leaving my collection now. So this is everything from me today. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think about my declutter, about the products I kept. Have you tried any of these products? Are there any of your like favorites here or products you just dislike? I would love to know your thoughts anyway. Thank you very much for watching. For more beauty related content, check those videos on the screen. I'm going to see you very soon. Take care, bye.